We are doing it to save lives. That explanation this evening from the government for why four parishes are now under states of emergency. National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang says he's also expecting crime reduction in the other three parishes, similar to what St. James experienced in the last two weeks of the SOE. The matter was addressed today as the JCF unveiled the latest addition to its crime-fighting resources. Our reporter Dwayne Anderson was there and filed this report. These are the latest recruits to the JCF's K-9 unit. The 23 dogs take the count in the unit to just over 60. The animals are from Latin and South America and have begun training alongside their handlers. Recent uh, graduations, we've gotten some, some new uh, officers in who are interested in this sort of thing because you have to be interested in the dogs. You have to want to work with them for them to work with you. The timing of these additions is perfect. They are crucial in search, whether it is for cadavers or live persons across the territorial areas, and it played a very critical and reassuring role in the events of November 9 to 15, when the country had the peculiar response from 81 bomb threats. That is something that, as a force, we are um, dealing with to find the sources of these threats, but also to recommend um, much stronger uh, penalties for persons who actually uh, waste the police's time in this, in this manner. During a demonstration, this dog, Furo, located explosives planted under this vehicle. So he effectively identified the TNT. A very good job by a very good boy. He is rewarded with a ball to play with. Turning to other matters of national security, Dr. Horace Chang explained the reasoning for the imposition of SOEs in Clarendon, St. Catherine, Hanover, as well as the extension in St. James. We have moved it into Hanover, which has had a significant increase in the last 12 months, nine months, and we expect we'll get the kind of response that we have seen in St. James. So too in Clarendon and elsewhere. We only use the extra legislation to give the police the extra powers when absolutely necessary to save lives. He also lauded the quick results from the measure in St. James in the last two weeks, which included arresting the gunman who killed two schoolboys a few weeks ago. They found this character and brought to me alive to face trial and face justice. Those who, of course, will engage the police in shootout. Well, as I've said it before, the police is well trained they'll take them out. And in from the statistics we have during the last 14 or 16 days, Mr. Bailey, this police force took out, arrested, or a number of them were killed in combat, some seven hardcore criminals. And now, if the addition of these canines go according to plan, even more of those wanted men will be taken off the streets. These animals will help in the detection of these wanted men, as well as their illegal weapons. Jamaicans, in the meantime, are being assured improved security against would-be robbers, especially in December. I think the PS has told me she went to the bottom of the drum on the budget and scraped around and found a little money somewhere. Tell me she's going to give the police some bikes for the Christmas season. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.